Damon Devine's apartment, and he was Ema Sumac's friend and caretaker. Woo! I think he did her hair and makeup as well, too. Are you excited? So excited. I can't wait. It's hard to even believe that she was real. She's a really out of this world singer. Amazing octave range, singing songs that were just a little off kilter. She looked amazing, she sounded amazing, but her lifestyle seemed amazing. Shelly found out about Damon Devine's rare collection through an Ema Sumac fan site. I believe he has all her like gold stuff, like the Incan stuff she's known for. It's all the iconic stuff. Well, let's go. Yes, let's. Oh, you know what? I think he might have some of her actual costumes, too. The chance to see and touch Ima's original pieces in person will be like stepping back in time and touching vintage gold. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Come in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Oh, my God. Oh God, this is crazy. So these are the famous Inca jewels. Wow. These look pretty amazing. They are. And you can see the backs here. Holy cow. Are very, very oh, that's so crazy. crazy. This is a very, very, very famous sun piece. She wore it, I think, through her entire career. I never dreamed I would have that. Damon sold a number of her pieces to fans over the years. But he held on to a special few that he just couldn't part with. I mean, it's just, I just never unimaginable. I dreamed I'd be seeing it. It's amazing. Seeing somebody look so, like, exotic and beautiful and not, you know, mainstream glamour, like, you know, the, the blonde Hollywood starlet. Right. And seeing her is just, like, life-changing. Yeah. The jewelry was amazing, but an even better surprise waited for us in the next room. So here's this. <gasps> oh, my god. I'm dying. Just hanging out. That's very, very emo. And then here she is wearing it. Wow. God, it's like it was made yesterday. I didn't think it was even possible to see this stuff. Aside from it just being just glamour point blank, it's just truly inspiring to see that she was really inspired by her indigenous roots. And to tr totally embrace her culture and you know where she came from is just a really powerful thing. And I'm all about that. So this is the cave. A holy relic, Shelly. Amazing. So she wore it like that. You can see here. Totally. The fringe. And underneath was gold, as you see there. <gasps> All the lame. And then this. Oh, I recognize that. This is her thing from the David Letterman yeah, show. Yeah, I totally remember that. Oh, wow. And not only David Letterman, but when she had the huge, huge comeback in the 80s, this is what she wore in the New York ballroom. So, every, that's so great. Every night. <gasps> so this is the most famous Ema Sumac piece. When I saw this in her things, I couldn't believe I was even seeing it. Awesome. And this is her uh, in it many, many, many times. Oh my god. That's it. That's her in her apart in her home, actually. Oh I feel very inspired by the glamour of probably like the 1950s, early 60s, just because I grew up seeing like these super glamorous pictures of my grandmother and my mom. That makes me very sentimental, seeing those treasures of that time. This is like, this is a total life changer. Thank you so much. Oh, good. Like, yeah, thank you so much. 12-year-old self, like, one day. Well, for, for me, that's the whole idea, so I'm really happy yeah. about that. The visit to Damon Devine's house was pretty fabulous. He was so enamored of her and respectful of her memory that it was nice to see that it was in his hands. And he was able to tell Shelly, who was just completely blown over, some great stories. So it was a really big gift.